6,000 miles away, Belfast, Ireland. Workers build a giant steel structure, a monument to the ambition of the age. 2,000 steel plates, 3 million rivets, Nine hundred feet long, forty six thousand tons. The largest moving object on the planet, and it's unsinkable. April 14, 1912, RMS Titanic, bound for New York. Mankind puts its faith in technology. On board, a Morse code message system, the wireless telegraph. Operator Jack Phillips, 25 years old, a communications expert. He'll play a part in mankind's most famous disaster. 9.40 p.m., a warning from steamship Masiba, eight miles ahead. Saw much heavy pack ice and a great number of large icebergs. Also field ice. Weather good, clear. An invisible message sent at the speed of light. Radio waves have been produced by stars and planets for billions of years. Now, physicists use electric currents to produce them at will. Morse code. Where once we communicated face to face, now we can send messages across the planet. On board the Titanic, 1,316 passengers. More than half crammed into third class cabins. Men like Theodore de Molde, a peasant farmer dreaming of a new life in a new world. He left his wife and children in Europe. His ticket, the equivalent of a year's income. The amazing thing about humans is we're never satisfied. We're incredible risk takers. We're always exploring. And no matter how good life is, there's always some effort to see sort of what's past the next mountain or around the next corner. With mass production comes mass transportation. Steamships power the greatest migration in human history. Over half a century, one in 20 people on the planet emigrate the most popular destination across the Atlantic, America. A hundred ships a week arrive in New York. 26 million people migrate to the USA. They were leaving home, coming probably with very little money in their pocket. Just a dream, a dream that they could come to America and start their lives over and make something of themselves and maybe someday become one of those rich people uh, in first class. Eleven forty PM. While passengers sleep, Jack Phillips is busy sending personal messages for those in first class. The iceberg warning doesn't reach the bridge. The 
the biggest ship on Earth is at 22 and a half knots, nearly full speed. It sails at speeds that it shouldn't have been traveling at, and it's going through really a minefield, a naturally made minefield of ice, mountainous ice. Iceberg straight ahead! Engine, full stop! Third-class cabins flood first. The iceberg tears rivets off steel plates in the hull, opening six gaps. International Distress Signal, SOS. SOS, SOS. Titanic requires immediate assistance. Come at once, we struck an iceberg, sinking. Ten miles away, another ship, the California, close enough to save lives. But its wireless operator turned off the telegraph and went to sleep 15 minutes earlier. Six supposedly watertight compartments flooded. More than 10 million gallons of water pour into the Titanic. To reach the lifeboats, Third-class passengers must pass through first- and second-class decks. But the doors are locked. To know that you were trapped there because you were poor, that's when fear would have combined probably with rage. Less than half those on board We'll make it to New York. This is the only way. <laughs> April the fifteenth, nineteen twelve. 2.28 a.m. Two and three-quarter hours after hitting an iceberg, Titanic, the unsinkable ship, sinks. Third-class passenger Theodore de Mulder clings to the wreckage. The water's fatally cold. Three degrees below freezing. He could die of hypothermia in just 15 minutes. But De Mulder is one of the lucky ones. Yeah. 
Three days later, he arrives in New York. He will go on to land a job at the Ford factory in Detroit. A classic immigrant's tale. One thousand five hundred and three passengers and crew never reached New York. When the Titanic hit that iceberg, it set off a great period of re-examination of our faith in technology. And I don't think we've ever had quite the same optimism or trust that technology always serves our interests. 